Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our little legendary arm and playthrough. I'm trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty in this beautiful mod. Uh, we're having a blast so far. Operation Spider Shriek is upon us, where we need to sabotage transmitter. The baseline is still very high, uh, so 15 enemies. That's a bit of a problem, um, but we do have another mission right here that I would love to do and unfortunately that's the only way how we can do it so the space wolves need to man up and ataxia plus the others need to actually make this work project Miranda uh, increases the time by two but unfortunately decreases aim and mobility of everyone with the exception of mechanical units, that is, so this, this is not going to be fun. No one knows about it yet. It shouldn't be that well guarded. If we can take it down quickly, Advent's operations across this entire region will be in disarray. Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter in this okay. area tied directly wow. into their primary network. Our Transmitters are always a problem, but they connected. become even more of a problem. If you need to move super far. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Moving out. Thanks to Oscar Mike, we can take the high ground fast. Good, that worked like a charm. I'm all over it. Time to motor. This uh, mission here has the side trip Miranda, which means minus 20 to attack and minus two to movement. On a push forward mission where we are in the offensive Moving. and they are in the defensive, that of course, as you can appreciate, uh, puts us as a massive at a massive disadvantage. And not only that, on top of it, um, the uh, specific mission type that we have drafted here on my way. is infamous uh, for running out of time. time to motor. Mainly because even with all of the timers, there's a Viper here, I think. On Overwatch. Even with all of the timers, we're still in, uh, with all of the speed up. We are still ending up in a time crunch. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one. Two, four, six. Oh, that's an immediate kill. All right, Overwatch. Ataxia might need an aid protocol. More Overwatch and destruction, kill, and hopefully, hopefully we're going to see two shots on the sector that will get him very much down. Okay, well, that's already not two shots, but two shots, two kills. Not bad either. Okay, well, that solves the flanking um, problem. Ah, so close. Two, four, six, seven, that would need to be maximum damage. Yeah, we're, let's just take out the sector. That's a sure kill. 
No mind control, no panic, nothing. Sidewinder is a dangerous foe, specifically <clears throat> the poisoning and so on is a problem. But we are immune thanks to our Markofax. DM right, immune. He couldn't have known that. But it nonetheless is a sweet, sweet side effect. Bedmaster gets it down to one hit point. Could grenade it and kill it. Or drop down, flank, and kill it ourselves. Let's hit a little error in core. That's good. Okay, full cover. I need to delay the network separation. Well done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. Locked and loaded. Good. Suppression here. Decent hit. And double move. Okay, cool. That would be a kill. Or, by the way, let's start with that. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Let's start with that. All right. I'm not 100% sure how to deal with Overwatches when all we have is suppression, but given that we have so little hit chance maybe that's the answer to it because we can kill the uh, the other it's clear. the other grenadier here just with a flashbang uh, with a with an actual grenade is what I meant to say good and unless this is triggering which is hope which it hopefully is not okay we can move up Good to go. and start destroying these transmitters next turn. So let's see what this guy is going to do. Okay, bunker is down. Moving. Move up. Great. Good, that on the other hand was good. Just trying to get into a good position. This is very dangerous. That might not look like it, but it is very dangerous. Rather like to go to here-ish. 
problem that I'm facing is I need to get to high ground, don't want to trigger anything here or here. And standing in the open also sucks. So it's really not a great position to be in. Uh, do we risk it? Yeah. Let's hope we're not getting caught with our pens down. Okay. For once it worked out. Could take a nice little high ground uh, full cover here. All right, uh, that one go. is even better. Okay, we want to get as many turns as possible this time. That'll free up our actions for something more useful the next time. life unfortunately called right, and I needed go. to answer so we need to push in a bit further Can I get an evac here? let's align our evac and uh, specifically the location of the evac with uh, where we would want to go and see if any of this triggers we really need to push in harder Running. well that's a good uh, sign if it does not trigger Then we can move over here Affirmative. and get ready to push in deeper. Now does this trigger? No. Does this trigger? We do have a protocol in case there is a problem we got the objective in sight. only the, uh, the objective which means the, the enemies must be on this side here because the there are still at least two packs Reload. Advent forces moving on our position. Okay, so one pack seems to be back here. That's okay. Oh, it's a roamer pack or whatnot. But there's I guarantee you there's one more pack near the AO. Now enemies are coming in this turn. First question, does this your trigger? Uh, I'm going. No. Okay. Either here or down here or up there. Overwatch, 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 and Overwatch. We're very close on the network separation. Advent force is sighted. Let's 
This is a bit of a problem. Let's try our luck. Okay. Oh. The X4 charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. We have another. Well, we do have a way of. Making them pay for clustering up there. Oh yeah, we do. Which is AOE suppression. Full cover. Overwatch. Arglide gets an 8 protocol to make him not immune to their attacks and let's just move back to where we know we are not being spotted out it was too good to not become a problem good hit fantastic hit Oh, yeah, well. See if we can get that mech down. Mech down, smack down, as they say. Light moves into full cover. Too much health for a grenade. Good. How many is that now? Could use some ammo over here. Gotta close your eyes. These guys are now disoriented and just out of line of sight which means they only can see into full cover Giving ourselves a protocol because everybody else can get out. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Take the enemy fire. Let's go. What a mission. That was surgical precision for. Firebrand is returning to base. That transmitter is. Oh. 
at least uh, the game acknowledges that that was a very difficult mission. It indeed felt like one. Holy moly. Oh. We got four promotions. Nice. So, definitely need something for Overwatch. Center Mars is good. I think we're going for Formidable. Just more tankiness. I like Ever Vigilant. Almost a bit more like uh, than Warp Fire. And this here is supposed to be our gun build. I remember that, right? Because we had Executioner. We wanted multi shots, rupture. Why did we take execution? I mean, it is good. But com uh, combatives isn't bad either. The range attacks gain 10 M, uh, 10, uh, 10 aim and critical if you have moved this turn. Oh, and now I do remember that. Uh, plus, bring it on. We wanted uh, him to become a shotgun guru. Good, but that is only midi attacks. still think we take the smaller detection radius and then a couple of the shooty shooty abilities so yep let's take that and we got four uh, mobility points out of it, which Many is fabulous. The now, the real problem is strength. the immediate strain um, on us because there is the next mission for enemy material. For Indonesia. Good, that is ready. That, that's the four that we had. Go with another gunner. Or with an assault. And that would be five against the moderate uh, line. This is not a mission that we can do without, without intel. This would reduce the enemy strength here, which in itself is a good mission. I am willing to spend intel for that. Okay, equipped all of them. Uh, this time I'm not forgetting the ablative armor on Ataxia. That is helpful and if we completely scan through it then we get to 111 percent so let's get this going we are now completely out of uh, characters only got uh, um, Sane here can act as uh, the advisor we are on Vigilance 11, which is respectable. Continuing to recruit. That's now 13, Commander which new supplies coming in. We'll need to seek out new means now we're getting finally getting rookies.
and everybody else recruiting as well. Let's continue with the engineer. What we need to do is also a full reset, let's say two to three days without um, having new missions and then assigning people to new squads or to their original squads because well, it's getting ridiculous at the moment. Okay, Psy facility is up and coming in eight days. In the meantime, can you please in help to further clear alien debris? There you go. Good, we're now at three engineers, three scientists, but effectively four because of the workshop. We got plenty to sell. And now that we do have an extra engineer to spare, there you go. All of a sudden, we got yet another engineer, so we're at five engineers. Uh, getting this nicely cleaned out. Side facility, we definitely need um, need power soon. And then training facility or infirmary. Either way is good. Both is needed. Intel good. Soldier batter. We got plenty of intel. We can easily make contact with another region. We've done very well on the intel front so far. Azizal, a technician or technical as they call it here in Long War. Corporal. Nice little tattoo. Look at that. He's rocking. Uh, the Howling uh, Wolf Tattoo. Cool. Yeah, we're going with Fire in the Hole. I like that a lot. With all that's been going on, and Fortify is also good. I like that still. equally. I started to like Burnout, so that's good as well. She wasn't the type to let the collapse of XCOM stop her research. Okay, another soldier. Got some more intel down here. Might as well get that. Avenger plotting new course. Okay, so jailbreak. Yeah, needs needs to launch next. This here will need to be boosted. And you no, know, this year. This here will need to be boosted. And that will be okay. Ish. Good. Good riddance. Um, yeah, we're going to to take on the uh, the diamond wagon now. That's three resistance personnel and two rookies. If we're uh, doing it right, and we got the gray wolves here. No, we don't have the Grey Wolves. 
Gunner Assault Double Specialist. Yeah, that was this weird setup because I was running out of uh, proper characters that I could send there. Anyways, let's do that. Landed. Are we please starting concealed? One, two, three, four, five. Position is obscured. Okay, we want high ground. Heading there now. Oh yeah, I remember this team. Fun little combination. If if you're essentially running with two specialists, one of which plays like a normal soldier. Go, go, go. Good, we need to get to here. Oh, wow. It's a large map. Uh, it already said so in the side trip, and the side trip was not lying. It is indeed a large map. I have eyes on the enemy. Uh, now mechs become more and more the norm. Moving over here, that is full cover to the left. Could move up to here. We're risking that the drone might be moving up, but why would we need to? We can simply go like that. Yeah, not bad. We could take over the Mac. I think that would be a game changer if if we make that work. If we make that work, okay, good timing to start. Four, fifty-two, and accessing system. That's not bad. There is the option for a PCS for a superior one. Hmm. Maybe on our way out. For now, not needed. Hunk gets the aid protocol because he might be positioned out of cover. Overwatch. Moves into full cover. We want to push forward, so that's why I'm moving before doing that. Twenty percent. Not bad. That's like complete noob levels of bad. This, on the other hand, would actually be quite good. Let's just kill them. One down, one heavily injured. Maybe 
Mac does it uh, its thing, which includes getting credit. Not exactly how I figured it would um, play out, but that's fine. Okay. Could go upstairs, which I think we're going to do. staying here as an overwatch uh, in case the drone comes around I can handle that okay moves up on it moves up moves up and we're moving over. Moving to Overwatch. Movement. It's close. They are downstairs. Back here in that other wing of the building. No problem, boss. This is my trigger. Does not. No problem, boss. No problem, boss. Whatever you say. On Overwatch. On Overwatch. Overwatch. I'm on it. Enemy activity. Would be cool if they just move into us and then we're completely unloading on them. Seems doable. Good. We're. Continuing to move down, next turn we're going downstairs. Just down here. I got eyes on an advent position. Enemy is still up. Shot wide. Still got enough turns left over, we're okay. So we're dropping down, opening that and moving out here and then we're running for the hills. means realistically we need a little bit of air cover and I've just seen a hit point bar downstairs. Whatever you say. So there are enemies down there. Seems doable. Which means everybody needs to go down.
Good. There is a pack right in front. Can't believe that you cannot throw a grenade downstairs. But we're positioning ourselves right here so that they scatter into this direction. I'm going. Fortunately, we don't have Blade Storm. Oh, you're hiding in a cell. Okay, well, that's easy then. Going in for the kill. Interesting concept, by the way, that they can hide within a cell. Priest learned his lesson. We're blocking him in, that way they can't move. I'm going. What a stupid behavior. Just going in here. You know what? Suppressing him, that's just as good as... I was about to say that's just as good as the flashbang. End of turn. That was a bloody, bloody start here. I'll give it a shot. Contrary co hmm. This here is 50 into. Well, no, 33 intel. But that's great. Infiltrating access point. Okay, can. Yep, we can move out. That's good. Good. Now the only the only relevant to do is stay alive and don't get Ready shot. I can handle that. Get everybody out and we're going to be happy campers ever out. after. I would say we're still staying on high ground and then we're dropping down and weaseling our way out of here. 12 turns. I'm going. OK, 
Okay, moving up. Everybody here can catch up. Those who don't need to shoot might as well just go down. So here, reloads, and the rest of the team catches up. Good, we don't want to trigger another pack. So let's take the reinforcements no problem, and take good care. I can, that. I can, can that. still move a little bit forward. Like that's not the problem. Whatever you say. Good, everybody else just hunkers down. At the entrance, there is yet another pack. up let's hope that this does not trigger a second pack impressive. nice critical hit that indeed was impressive scouting Everybody tries to move out of here. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Good. We gave up high ground. Hopefully we're not triggering these guys stay there and we're just going to move over and leave this damp dark place behind Looks good, promising. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Already there. Moving out. Solid copy. Good, we don't want to deal with the reinforcements. I want to get these guys out. We've secured a civilian contact. VIP secure and in position for evac. Info 
infiltrating access point. Let's see if we can get that superior PCS. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Icing on the cake. Whatever you say. No problem, boss. Location confirmed. Roger that. See you later. Wow, that was a good mission. It was just a drone left over, and I figured there might be more. Even now, our enemy lurks in the shadow, plotting to destroy all we have built. To return. Never had any doubts about your capabilities. Cool, we got promotions. Sam over here is going for Shredder. Got to deal with those nasty robots. Hunk. Close and personal, lightning reflexes, that's all good. 45 would be nice. But I think we're going for killer instinct. Although, hmm. Plus 50 total damage after a critical hit. It's not just uh, extra crit, it's total damage. Yeah, that, that is really good. I'm reading that as the entire damage is going to be multiplied. Field Surgeon, not bad either. But I also started to like uh, Interference. Now let's... Let's have a mix of... Um, of uh, those good and finally we got new rookies let's take a look we got ourselves hats and implacable so hats good aim terrible terrible um, hit points mobility isn't bad Implacable also hit points bad. Mobility is good and aim is good. They're actually making for a really good case for uh, shooter characters such as sharpshooters, um, gunners. We do have three gunners, so that's fine. We have three rangers, that's fine. Three sharpshooters, so we don't necessarily need that. We need more shinobis. And they are fast enough for Shinobi, so I personally was always of the opinion that the whole you need to optimize stats with um, not not created equal, uh, equal is a bit over the top. So there, I've, there's a full kind of storyline around, yeah, and you should uh, really um, update that and uh, that cannot be updated. It really doesn't matter that uh, much, but I will say that 70 aim would be a bit wasted if we're not putting it onto something shooty. So, um, one of you becomes a sniper, and one of you becomes a gunner. That's what I can say by now. It's just a question of who, who takes what. You have a little bit more dodge, so I think Hats becomes the gunner and train rookie into gunner, train implacable into sniper. Like I mentioned, the hole to hit is a bit overhyped. The the you can actually build everything into everything and it sort of works sure if you do have a little bit more hit of course it's not bad but if you just look at our gunners they end up similar with their hit chance if you look at the rangers similar yes does the dm suck uh, a little bit more granted okay but he's also at the lower rank so he will be at 
76-ish. Um, he has other advantages, uh, though, is very, uh, very solid in, in the defense department. So it's really not that uh, deep. And you can also see here, they are ending up somewhat um, on average very similar. Okay, now that my rant for that is over, let's move on. Commander, many of our soldiers can improve the strength of their bonds if we give them a place to train. We'll for sure get more rookies and we need more shinobis. And that is what I'm going to train. Fifteen days. Attack Advent counter insurgents ups. Hidden event countered and intel. Well, it's pretty good, but and it is 50 days, so easy time uh, to uh, to infiltrate that. More resources, easy time to infiltrate also that. What I would want to do is let's get both of these here done. Six days. Extract BIP uh, for a scientist. Hmm, that is good. Oh, Project Miranda. I already begin to hate that more than any other uh, side trip. Good, but we still have enough to get uh, four people staffed there. Good, good, good. Boost the infiltration here. Yes. And we're at 110%, which will get this squad here. A really, really decent fight to reduce the enemy strength. But that is happening the next time. I think for now, we're done. We had a very, very successful uh, day. Let's just double check what the personal combat sim was. PCS Combat Rush. When you kill an enemy, allies in seven tiles temporarily receive a bonus. That is ultra good. And Uncle Nuber might be the right person for that because he is oftentimes killing people. And Combat Rush is good. Let me think about it. Who else in the Grey Knights would benefit from it? Saul too far forward, sharpshooter too far back. I think you're actually spot on. And he currently does not have one, so might as well do that. Great. Okay, that's the end of today's episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it, and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.